Hey Team FG community. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be taking a look into how much Canadians are going to need to retire. Remember, if you do enjoy this content, like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel because we love doing these videos for you. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be highlighting a certain article uh, that was written saying necessarily how much should Canadians have for retirement. Now, we always kind of find these articles pretty interesting because they're uh, with a broad stroke and for the entire audience when really, it's really not gonna give you a full picture of your individual situation. So I'll hand it over to Carlo and you can get into it. Carlo. Thanks, John. Yeah, like John was saying, what you see in articles, in magazines, in newspapers about how much you need to retire or what you need to be doing, take it with a grain of salt. Again, the authors of these articles don't necessarily know your situation. So let's talk specifically about the article that I read. It was a, it was a survey that uh, the Bank of Montreal did, and they surveyed about 1,500 people about how much it takes to retire. And the number was $1.7 million. Now that sounds pretty hefty. And, and it is. That is a significant amount of money. And that's a 20% increase from back in 2020 when the same survey was done again. And what we believe is that, you know, the economic conditions now with inflation the way it is and prices increasing as much as they have, that's what's causing the little bit of concern and the increase to what people think they need. But let's think about that. $1.7 million to retire. What does that actually mean? Okay. Let's use the age-old uh, withdrawal rule of 4%. And basically what that says, if you're drawing out 4% of your portfolio, you will not exhaust your assets. Basically, your portfolio will be earning at least 4% if it's uh, invested appropriately. So if we take 4% of 1.7 million, that's $68,000, which is a fairly significant annual income. Take, for instance, your government benefits on top of that, your CPP and old age security. Average CPP, uh, sorry, the average amount that Canadians receive in, in CPP is just over, just under $720. That's per person. So you can imagine you're, you'd be getting $1,400 uh, per household. And then when you add on uh, old age security on top, that's another approximately $690 per person, which is approximately sixteen five dollars per year. So you're getting $16,500 from old age security. You're getting about $17,000 from CPP and $68,000 from your 4% withdrawal of your portfolio. That's just over $100,000 of income. Seems pretty significant. Uh, when I think about the average annual income of a Canadian, uh, living in Ontario specifically, it's $86,000 a year. Okay, so there is a discrepancy there. A $1.7 million portfolio plus your government benefits is going to give you a higher ex a lifestyle expense than you're used to living. If we think about average Ontarians earning 86000 while you're working, that's going to cover savings and paying off debt if you have a mortgage or anything uh, to that nature. So once you're retired, you're typically not going to have a mortgage. You're not going to be saving. You're in consumption mode. So the actual income that you require is likely less than that 86000 so if we look at it this way, the portfolio of 1.7 million giving you 68,000 a year plus CPP PP, plus OAS is going to give you that 100,000 far more in excess than what you'd actually need. And again, going back to what I said earlier, this is just a general number to use. It has nothing to do with how you're living. If you're comfortable living at $86,000 a year, then you don't need that excess. So. Take, like I said, take that with a grain of salt. Yes, it would be great to have a $1.7 million portfolio when you retire, but don't let it cause you any anxiety. Continue to do the things you're doing. If you do want to get an idea if your portfolio is large enough or you'll have enough in retirement to supplement CPP and OAS, talk to a financial advisor. Come see us at the McClellan Financial Group. We'd be happy to walk through your retirement cash flow plan with you. I mean, excellent points there, right? It, it, are we all going to be traveling on a, a you know ten thousand dollar per year budget, a twenty thousand dollars per year budget into retirement? A, you know, what are our hobbies like? What does our ideal retirement look like? Sure, one point seven million sounds great, but that's not necessary for everybody's situation. Some people might actually need more than one point seven million, um, you know, uh, to to live the lifestyle that they want. So, to that point, everyone's situation is going to be a little bit different. So. 
feel free to speak with us and see if your retirement is currently set up to, uh, or sorry, if your current assets are currently set up to your correct retirement. But that's another episode of Ask Team FG for today. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. But until next time, I'm John Iaconetti. I'm Carlo Cancino. And this has been Ask Team FG.